Hello everyone and welcome to Kim Casta Art. And I wanted to talk to people about, about wanting to paint. A lot of people come to me with questions, they want to paint, but most people say, well, I have no talent. I don't know how to paint or uh, I can't even draw a straight line or whatever. Well, I'm here to tell you, it doesn't take talent to paint. It takes the three P's, patience, perseverance, and practice. It's like any other thing, you know? Those three things you'll find equal confidence. And that's what you need to paint is confidence in yourself to paint. Once you practice painting and you're patient with yourself and your painting, and be, have that perseverance to keep going, you'll find out that you can paint. Bob Ross proved it. Leonard Abmoff, there's a lot of people that proved it. Um, a lot of the artists from many, many years ago, the masters, they all had to practice painting. They had to learn, they had to, paint things over and over and over again to learn how to paint them and build their confidence up. Once they get that confidence level up, they became wonderful painters. And you can too. You just have to want to. If you want to, you can do it. Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Rembrandt, they all didn't wake up or be born and have a natural talent to paint. Yes, it's a given that there are a few people that are a bit more talented than others. They just seem to grasp it more, but don't you think maybe it's because they had the mindset and the desire to paint? If you desire to do anything, you can do it. It doesn't matter if it's cooking or working on cars or vehicles or painting houses. It doesn't matter. You still have to learn how to do that job. Painting can be a job, if that's what you want to do eventually, is become an artist. And one of the most satisfying things in the world is when you saw your first painting. And believe me, it happens a lot sooner than you think. Once you get painting and you build some confidence in yourself, come Confidence is what makes you paint better. And you have to build your confidence up. I found that out a long time ago. I started out painting Bob Ross, Bill Alexander paintings, things like that. I had always wanted to do traditional paintings. I do them now. I can do the Bob Ross. I'm a certified instructor for Leonard Abmoff, which is night painting. And I instruct all the other medias too, whether it's acrylic or oil or the knife painting, whatever, I can do any, any one of them. And it's just from many years of practicing. And some people move along faster than others. Figure out what you want to paint, concentrate on what you want to paint. If you want to do landscapes, paint landscapes. And frankly, that's probably the best place to start painting landscapes and including whether it's wet on wet like bob ross or whatever just start to paint a lot of people the pros out there say bob ross and bill alexander are not artists but they really are they did do traditional painting also they just developed a method that most anybody could start painting with and that's what they wanted you to do. Bob Ross will tell you himself. Get started painting and move on from there. And then you can go into more traditional painting. But it teaches you about brushes, how to mix colors, tints and shades, and the mixing of the paint. The, the biggest thing is learning how to use them. Brushes are a tool and treat them as such. They are a tool. Palette knife is a tool. There's many different palette knives. There's a 
huge variety of palette knives. But the main thing is, you got to start. It does cost a little bit to get started. You can just get started with, you know, the primary colors. And you can you can mix almost any color you want with the primary colors. Red, blue, yellow, green, your black and white. I mean, all your primary colors is really all you, all you need to start with. And that's really a great place to start because learning to mix the colors yourself is, is a big bonus. Because it'll really save you money in the long run. You don't have to buy a bunch of special colors that you really don't have to have. You know, why why get a, a dark green or a sap green or whatever and then a light green and a yellow green and all these different greens when you don't really have to have them you can make sure you're one of them so my point here is jump on the channel we've got lots of tutorials here you can follow how to mix flesh tones and how to paint landscapes portraits whatever you want to paint if you have a request leave a comment i appreciate it if you got questions, leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer questions. I do lives from time to time, including live painting. So join us, subscribe, hit that like button. It's always appreciated. And also, we do have uh, memberships that we offer that are very inexpensive and they have some really good benefits, including one on one tutoring. And you can do that too. So anyway, have a great day. I appreciate you watching. And we'll catch you the next time. Hopefully we'll see some new faces on our live, which will be again pretty soon. Have a good day and good night.